Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to get that super blown out, smoky editorial copper eye by just using drugstore priced um, products. So I'm going to start off by taking my Tapered Blending Sigma E40 brush and dip into the Makeup Geeks Creme Brulee eyeshadow and place that right on my crease. Go ahead and use windshield wiper motions. And if you find your fingers scooching up towards the front, go ahead and scooch those back and lighten your grip on the brush. It's really gonna help make sure that you have dispersed the products evenly. Because once you go ahead and place product down, it's really hard to blend it out. If you put too much on, it's better to build it up. Next, we're gonna go in with Makeup Geek's Chickadee, which is a very uh, vibrant orange. It can be a little intimidating, but I promise it looks amazing on all eye colors. We're gonna go ahead and put that directly over Creme Brulee. Then we're gonna go in with Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear, which is a very earthy, reddish brown. We're gonna put that right below the chickpea and creme brulee. Go ahead and keep your eyes open while working on the crease. It really helps make sure that you're putting um, your placements just right. All right, <clears throat> next we're going to be going in with the Morphe M519 brush. It's a super compact brush. And going in with uh, Makeup Geek's Bitten, it's going to be an earthy red. Um, I like to use a more compact brush while doing this to make sure that it goes exactly where it's supposed to. You don't want a color like a vibrant red going too high up onto your crease because it's going to look like you got punched in the face. So I'm just going to use this brush to place my product on the lowest part of that crease. And then go back with that Sigma blending brush and blend out all my work. Okay, now for the fun part. We're gonna go in with ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and Helio Goodbye. It is amazing. Um, I, if you haven't used ColourPop products before, you really should try. They're like five, six dollars a jar. Um, super creamy, super uh, pigmented, super blendable, and very highly pigmented. So we're going to go ahead and place this with a, it's a MAC brush, and I will have to link in the bottom bar below which one it is, um, but it's a synthetic brush. I like using synthetic brushes on these cream eyeshadows. Um, I find that it picks up the product better. And we're going to go ahead and place that on the lid. Make sure you keep that below the crease. I want to keep my crease super matte for this look. Oh my gosh. This color is amazing. I know the camera's not doing it justice. There's like these little flecks of glitter rather than chunks of glitter, which really makes it beautiful for any, any occasion. It's funny, this actually reminds me of the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. Different formula, different colors, but the outcome is exactly the same and this is like 75% cheaper. And I actually think I like this one more. What's also nice about this product is you can pack on a lot on your brush and you really won't have any fallout, which is amazing because on highly pigmented products, they usually end up all over your face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the Morphe 519 brush and blend that out. I'm gonna blend along the crease so it kind of blends the lid and the crease together. All right, now I'm gonna do my liquid liner. I don't wanna do an intense wing on this look because I think the eyes do the look justice enough. Um, I'm just gonna do a nice thin line um, for my strip lashes so the band will have a nice guide and it'll blend really well. Now, my favorite part, the lashes. You'll notice that I usually go 
huge and obnoxious with my lashes because I feel like if you don't look like a friggin' butterfly, then girl, you better be sleeping. So I'm gonna link in the bottom part what these are, but I just got them and I friggin' love them. They're super wispy, super amazing. They're just luscious and fluffy. I, I just adore them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my lash glue to put those on. And I love using lashes as much as I possibly can. I just think they bring your look to the next level. So now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lash Central and coat my bottom lashes. And use my Sephora liner and I'm going to line my upper and lower waterline. Lastly, to finish off the look, I'm going to go in with my pencil brush by Sigma. I'm going to go back in into the Makeup Geeks Chickadee, that um, very loud orange. And I'm going to blow out that bottom lash line. Maybe I took it a little too far with these lashes today. Nah. Alright, then I'm going to dip back into the Bitten, which is that earthy red, and I'm just going to line the outer waterline. And make sure you really, really smoke that out. I just think that it completes the eye look when you really, really smoke out that bottom lash line and connect it to the top. I'm gonna go back in with my mascara because I think I smudged it. And then I'm also going to get those lashes in the corners where that uh, lash strip doesn't uh, go over. And that is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, suggestions please let me know down below and please subscribe to my channel i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will be back soon love you guys